Welcome to Gigabyte. This is Hoshino. I'm in charge of server product planning and strategy at Gigabyte. Today, I would like to introduce an all new ARM64 solution, Imperial Ultra platform. It's a very powerful platform. But before that, I would like to introduce our development history about ARM64 solution uh, in Gigabyte. And on the table, there's two motherboard around me. On my right side, you can see here is the MP30. It's the worldwide first ARM64 server board, and uh, it's based on a Permicro XGen1 platforms. And uh, we developed this product from 2013. So we have already developed ARM64 solution in Gigabyte over seven years. And uh, on my left side, here's the solution uh, we call it MT60. Um, it's based on Kevian Sound X1 platform. It's the worldwide first dual processor solution for ARM64 solution. And at that time, I was in charge of these two projects. But it's really not an easy task to develop these new ARM solutions. Because you know, in ARM market, almost all the ecosystem, the OS, drivers are based on Xeon 86 Intel solution. And it's difficult to develop a new version for ARM especially, so we need to provide case-by-case -case basis support for customer to solve the problem of the ecosystem. Whatever OS and the drivers or some device issues. So it's really difficult that at that time to develop an ARM solution. To fulfill different demands from customers and market, we developed a wide range of ARM solution, whatever the mainstream 1U, 2U solution, or the high density 2U phono solution for HPC. We based on this um, new platform, um, like the Permico XGen1 and the Kevian Sound X1 and the Sound X2 solution, and also we developed uh, for Qualcomm centric 2400 platform as well. And uh, with the uh, development um, with vendors uh, for seven years hard work, I'm very happy to see that now um, many ecosystem of ARM solution is already there. Whatever the ARM version OS, Central OS, Red Hat, Ubuntu, or the drivers for Lenka or Rekar today is ready. And now we develop this new platform with this kind of uh, ready ecosystem, and we are very happy to provide more powerful solution to customers. And also, as you know, um, according to the announcement from NVIDIA side, GPU card is also can be supported on ARM64 solution as well. So now based on the Ampere new solution Ultra platform, they also can provide GPU server solution for you. In the last year, ARM released their new roadmap of Nevers and also they create a new ecosystem certification. It's called ARM Server Ready. And the Gigabyte joined this certification with Sound X2 solution. And from this year, more and more new solution will be ready in ARM Server Ready ecosystem. And based on the very powerful TSMC 7 nanometer technology, we think the new generation of ARM SOC will be more suitable and powerful for server solution. Impel Ultra platform was released in March 3rd, 2020. It's a very powerful platform based on TSMC 7 nanometer technology. And the Ultra platform can provide 80 cores and a single socket can provide 128 Gen 4 PCIe lens. It's really very good features. And uh, with this kind of features, it's very flexible and good choices for different usage and applications. And the Ultra platform can also provide the high speed memory at 3200 megahertz speed. Let's look at our first new product here. 
and that's our MT32-AR0 server motherboard for Imperial Ultra ARM platform. You can find Ultra's processor socket here, which as I mentioned, is an LGA type socket. That means you can select from a range of different SKUs to try the processor with the best performance and the TDP optimized for your workload. Apart from the processor, the MP32 is a four-speak motherboard designed on the Ultra platform. Supporting eight channels of DDR4 memory with a total 16 DIMMs at a higher speed, 3200 MHz, the platform can support ultra-fast PCI Gen4, actually the highest speed in server market. The MP32 motherboard features 2x16 expansion slot and 5 by 8 expansion slots. We also use the PCIe switch in order to achieve more flexibility with our PCIe slot design to offer NVMe support. On the MP32, we also included one OCP 2.0 PCIe Gen 3 slot, giving you a wide choice of OCP 2.0 type LAN cards and RAID cards that can be used including Gigabyte's own RAID cards such as RSI 300A HBA and RSI 310A Huawei RAID cards. And the MP32 features a A-Speed 2500 BMC together with an IPMI management LAN and the dual one g LAN pole using an Intel i350 controller. Storage-wise, MP32 features four slimline U.2 ports However, Ampere Ultra didn't include onboard SOC support for standard SATA or SAS devices. So you need to integrate your own HBA card or RAID card to support SAS or SATA storage devices. What else? You also install up to M.2 SSDs in onboard slot here. And one more important thing of this motherboard is it's a standard EATX form factor. That means you can choose this motherboard into different chassis with the standard form factor. Whatever 1U or 2U or the OCP type chassis, we can fit this standard motherboard to provide different solution, different architecture to customers. And with this MP32, you can try a lot of different SKUs to customers for different workloads and applications. The R272 Ultra series is this 2U solution designed for cloud. And uh, this solution used the standard MP32 uh, motherboard inside, and uh, it's the standard form factor for this solution. And the sample you see here is the engineering sample. Thanks to the four-spec MP32 motherboard, the R272 can support up to 16 DIMMs of DDR memory seven PCI Gen 4 low profile expansion slot and uh, dual one gig base T LAN ports in the rear. Platinum redundant power supply are also provided. This engineering sample R272 is only an off ratio array SKU supporting 24 NVMe U.2 SSDs. But thanks to Gigabyte's building block development concept for our server lineup, we can also provide other models that can support 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch SATA or SAS storage devices, or a hybrid mix with NVMe storage as well. We also have many different power supply options available to optimize your power consumption for different workloads. Maybe you will ask me one question. If you want the 1U solution server, what should we do? I can tell you it's easy for us because we have the uh, modularized solution and also we have special process of development. It's called GSI process. We can provide one, uh, one use solution with the GSI in a short little time to fulfill your demands. This year, with the rise of 5G, we think edge server computing will be growing rapidly. And uh, we develop a special lineup, it's called E-Series, to focus on this new market. With the potential demand from edge computing server market, we create this E250 
series. The E252-P30 will be one of our key products in the series. And the first ARM64 edge computing server, which is based on Ampere Ultra platform. After mock research and analysis, we found that an edge server should feature a single processor and a sharp deep chassis. With help from Chambro, we have developed this 2U server with a deep of less than 500 mm, which is optimized for edge computing yet still enabled with all powerful features of the MP32 motherboard. Bundled with Gigabyte's own HBA OCP card, the E252 can support up to 6 2.5-inch storage devices. Platinum redundant power supplies and a hard swap fan or also enhance system function and performance. Now you know we have three products. The MP32 server board based on Ampere Ultra platform and with this motherboard, we created R272 series for cloud and the E252 series for edge computing. And I need to tell you, this is just the beginning of our development and the sale of Ampere Ultra platform. We will release these three products in this year. After that, we will collect the feedback and the comments from customers and the market. To see the feedback, we will decide what kind of new solution should be released into market, whatever 1U, 2U, or 2U for no form factors. And the Ampere, ARM, Gigabyte has formed a strong team and want to contribute our effort to the ARM server market, and we want to achieve higher market share in the server market together. Thanks.